Hi, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy, ACE Online Platform. Okay. Myself, uh, Krishna Reddy, Power System Faculty from ACE Academy. Now, let us try to analyze the concept of Corona from Power Systems point of view. So, now, what is Corona and when the Corona will occur? So, what do you mean by corona actually? Let us observe. So, here we are transmitting the power using overhead transmission line. Okay. So, if you observe the power system network, the power system is nothing but it is a system which deals with what? Principles of power generation, generation followed by transmission distribution and utilization yes or no so power system is nothing but it is a system which deals with the principles of generation transmission distribution and utilization so, coming to the generation, that is in most of the cases, that is in case of thermal plants and hydel plants or nuclear plants, they are located at a far place from load center. So, the power which is generated is to be transmitted to the load point. So, the power transmission in most of the cases, it is done by using overhead transmission line. Okay. Power transmission is done by using overhead transmission line. So, if you observe the overhead transmission line, the power conductors, suppose this is R phase, Y phase and B phase. Three phase conductors are separated in the medium of what? Air. Here air is acting as a dielectric medium or insulating medium. So, what do you mean by corona here? Corona means what? Whenever the operating voltage exceeds the dielectric strength of air, then there is a chance of ionization at certain locations. There is a chance of ionization at certain locations. Then that Formation is known as what? Corona. Corona means what? Corona, how can you define? Corona is nothing but Corona is nothing but ionization of air at certain locations. on power conductor, power conductor, ionization of air at certain locations on the power conductor is known as what? Corona. Okay. So, if the operating voltage is more, then the electric field intensity on the surface of conductor is more. If this electric field intensity is more than the dielectric strength of air, then there is a chance of occurrence of corona. That is nothing but ionization. Okay? So, if uh, the electric field intensity, if the electric field intensity at surface of conductor, at the surface of conductor, is more than more than dielectric strength of air dielectric strength of air there is a chance of corona there is a chance of corona chance of corona 
So what happens if the corona occurs, sir? There will be a corona loss, real power loss taking place. Okay. Now let us go into the other details. What are the observations that you can make whenever the corona is taking place? So whenever there is occurrence of corona in case of transmission line, we can observe hissing noise. Hissing noise takes place and there will be release of ozone gas, release of ozone gas and there will be occurrence of tough sand birds, occurrence of tufts and birds. So, whenever there is corona taking place on the conductor, that is corona is only on the surface of the conductor. So, there may be occurrence of what? Tough sand birds like this and uh, apart from this you can observe faint violet glow, violet glow. So, these are some of the observations that you can make whenever there is a corona in the transmission line. So, there will be hissing noise, release of ozone gas, occurrence of tough sand birds, faint violet glow or bluish glow may appear on the surface of conductor. So, this corona is taking place only on the surface of conductor due to breakdown of what? Air. Now, moving to the next. So, what do you mean by critical disruptive voltage? So, what do you mean by critical disruptive voltage, sir? Whenever the operating voltage exceeds this critical disruptive voltage, then only the corona will initiate, okay? So, if the operating voltage, operating voltage, exceeds critical critical disruptive voltage critical disruptive voltage corona will initiate So what happens sir, whenever the operating voltage exceeds this critical disruptive voltage, the electric field intensity will be very high, yes or no? The electric field intensity will be very high. So whenever the electric field intensity is high, there is a chance of ionization at certain locations on the surface of conductor, okay? So the voltage at which the corona is initiated is nothing but what? Critical disruptive voltage, okay? Or breakdown of air is taking place. That is nothing but critical disruptive voltage. So, how do we calculate this critical disruptive voltage? That is very important. Suppose, if you consider a single phase two wire configuration, single phase two wire configuration, And it is consisting of two conductors. Let R be the radius of the conductor. Let R be the radius of the conductor. This is conductor A and this is conductor B. And uh, the spacing between the conductors is D meters. D meters is the spacing between the conductors. And if V is the operating voltage, operating voltage, then the electric field intensity at the surface of conductor can be calculated as what? So, what will be the relation for electric field intensity in that case, sir? 
E is equal to V by R ln of D by R. This is a relation for what? Electric field intensity. So, here what do you mean by critical disruptive voltage? The voltage at which the corona gets initiated, okay? that is breakdown of air takes place. That is nothing but, uh, so if you consider D, G, suppose G is the dielectric strength of air, dielectric strength of air. So, what is the dielectric strength of air, sir? That is 30 kilo volt per centimeter per peak magnitude or 21.1 kilo volt per centimeter per RMS. If you are expressing in RMS, it is 21.1. If you are expressing in peak magnitude, it is 30 kilo volt per centimeter per peak. So, here this is a relation for electric field intensity. Now we need to calculate what? Critical disruptive voltage. So if you substitute the value of G in terms of E, we will get it as what? So G is equal to, now we will get critical disruptive voltage Vd, V by R, ln of D by R. Okay. Now here we need to calculate what? Uh, critical disruptive voltage. So Vd is the critical disruptive voltage, G is the dielectric strength of air, R is the radius of conductor, ln of D by R, okay. D is the spacing between the conductors. So this is the relation for what? Critical disruptive voltage, disruptive voltage. So if the operating voltage is more than this uh, critical disruptive voltage, then there is a chance of occurrence of corona. Okay. So if uh, Vp, that is the operating voltage, operating voltage is greater than Vd, that is critical disruptive voltage, voltage. So if the operating voltage is more than the critical disruptive voltage, then there will be chance of occurrence of what? Corona. Okay. Then only there will be a chance of occurrence of corona. If Vp is less than Vd, then there will not be any corona. Okay. Then there will be chance of occurrence of corona occurrence of corona, okay. But uh, if Vp operating voltage is less than critical disruptive voltage, then there will be no corona, okay. So we got the relation for critical disruptive voltage, this is Vd, this is valid at NTP, that is normal temperature and pressure. At normal temperature and pressure, this relation holds good. Okay. But if at other temperature and pressure are to be included, then we need to go for what? Air density factor. So if you want to calculate the critical disruptive voltage at other than normal temperature and pressure. So we got uh, Vd is G into R into ln of D by R. This relation is at normal temperature and pressure. At other than normal temperature and pressure, if critical disruptive voltage is to be calculated, then how do you calculate? We need to include the effect of that uh, change in temperature and pressure. That can be done by using what? Air density factor. So here, delta is air density factor, density factor. So how do you calculate the air density factor, sir? Air density factor delta is equal to 3.92 into h by 273 plus t. This is the relation for what? Air density factor. What is h here? h is nothing but pressure 
that is centimeters mm hg okay and the t is the temperature t is the temperature in centigrade okay now at normal temperature and pressure this relation holds good but other than normal temperature and pressure so how do you calculate critical disruptive voltage vd is equal to g into r into here we need to include the air density factor delta ln of d by r okay. so this relation is to be used for calculation of critical disruptive voltage at other temperature and pressure okay so if it is at in the question if he has given at normal temperature and pressure we can directly use this relation but at any other temperature and pressure if he has specified we need to use this air density factor okay now let us go for surface irregularity factor so this relation which we have derived is valid assuming that it is a solid conductor okay solid conductor or halo conductor it uh, it sounds good okay it's valid but uh, if you are going for standard conductor okay the surface is not smooth then we need to include the effect of that by using this surface irregularity factor by using this surface irregularity factor so here m is the surface irregularity factor so for solid conductors for solid conductors or halo conductors also here m value is equal to 1 m value is equal to 1 so because uh, it is a smooth conductor but if it is a standard conductor standard conductor m value is not equal to 1 m value will be less than 1 so it is around 0 0.932 0 0.97 so this is valid uh, for greater than 7 strands okay so 0 0.93 to 0.97 so for standard conductor it holds good okay. now we need to include this uh, surface irregularity factor so in calculation of what critical disruptive voltage vd is equal to g into r into delta into m into ln of d by r so this is a relation for what critical disruptive voltage so if the operating voltage is more than critical disruptive voltage then there will be occurrence of corona then there will be breakdown of dielectric strength of air okay so generally there may be an objective type question asked so when the corona will initiate vd is less than vp or greater than vp so when the operating voltage is more than vd then then there will be a chance of occurrence of corona okay now let us move to the next point that is what do you mean by visual disruptive voltage or visual critical voltage also we can call it what do you mean by visual disruptive voltage or visual critical disruptive voltage so if the operating voltage exceeds critical disruptive voltage what happens there is a chance of occurrence of corona that is corona is initiated so here initially there is no corona but uh, here corona initiated but if the operating voltage exceeds this visual disruptive voltage this corona is further extended that is known as extended corona okay 
corona will be extended for the extended corona. So, if the operating voltage exceeds this visual disruptive voltage or visual critical disruptive voltage, then there is a chance of visualization of corona. Corona is visualized. Okay? So, visual critical disruptive voltage, visual visual critical disruptive voltage, visual critical disruptive voltage means what? Visual critical disruptive voltage means is the voltage at which the corona is visualized, at which corona is visualized. Okay. So, let it be indicated with the VV. So, which will be more, sir? The, you may get an objective type question like this. Whether critical disruptive voltage will be more or visual critical disruptive voltage is more, no doubt. Visual critical disruptive voltage will be greater than critical disruptive voltage. Okay. This you may get an objective type question. Which voltage will be more? Visual critical disruptive voltage or critical disruptive voltage? So, visual critical disruptive voltage is greater than critical disruptive voltage. Okay. So, now how do you calculate this uh, visual critical disruptive voltage? Vv. So, here G <coughs> into. So, already we have gone through the relation for critical disruptive voltage G R delta M G into R into delta into m into ln of what? d by r. Additionally, we need to include a factor, let it be some k. Okay. So, for calculation of what? Visual critical disruptive voltage. So, what is that factor? Okay. So, what will be that factor, sir? 1 plus 0 0.3 by square root of r into delta. Okay. So, if you include this factor, then the visual critical disruptive voltage V V can be written as G R sorry G into R into delta into M into 1 plus 0 0.3 by square root of R into delta into ln of D by R. Okay. So, this is the relation for visual critical disruptive voltage. So, visual critical disruptive voltage is nothing but the voltage at which corona is visualized is known as what? Visual criti critical disruptive voltage. If the operating voltage is more than this visual critical disruptive voltage, then the corona can be visualized. Okay. Now, coming to the next point. So, what happens when corona takes place? What is the effect of corona? What happens? when corona takes place. So, whenever the corona has been initiated, so what happens? Here, there will be corona loss. So, due to occurrence of corona, there is corona loss, corona loss. That is, here real power loss or reactive power loss, real power loss. Okay. Corona will result in real power loss. Due to that, what happens? Efficiency gets reduced. Okay. So, how do you write, what is the relation for corona loss? What is the relation for corona loss? It is given by 242 into 10 power 5, 242 into 10 power 5 f plus 25 by delta into square root of r by d into vp minus vd whole square. Okay. 
So, this is the relation for corona loss. This will give kilowatt per phase per kilometer. Okay. So, this is the expression for corona loss that is 242 into 10 power 5 into F plus 25 by delta square root of R by D Vp minus Vd whole square. Here what is this Vp sir? So, based on this corona loss expression, you can get multiple objective type questions. You need to remember this. Here this Vp is what? Operating voltage, operating voltage and v, Vd is critical disruptive voltage. Vd is what? Critical disruptive voltage. So, what is your observation here? Corona loss directly proportional to F plus 25, directly proportional to Vp minus Vd whole square. Okay. So, let us observe. What are the objectives that can be framed from this corona loss expression? Okay. This is very important relation, sir. You need to just have a look onto this uh, relation, so which will be helpful for answering objective type questions. Many objective type questions can be framed and you can ex expect a question from this. Okay. So, let us observe here. So, if you observe this question, if uh, frequency is 50 hertz, frequency is 50 hertz and pressure given as 71 centimeter of Hg, temperature is 25 degrees centigrade, radius is 1 centimeter, spacing is 1.5 meter, phase voltage at which it is operating is 100 kV, critical disruptive voltage is 110 kV, what is the corona loss? What is the corona loss? So, can you use this expression for calculating the corona loss? You should use this expression whenever the operating voltage is greater than the critical disruptive voltage only. Okay. So, when operating voltage is greater than critical disruptive voltage, then only the corona loss, corona will in, takes place. If it is less than that, there is no corona. Okay. So, if you observe this question, do not confuse here. Okay. So, phase voltage is 100 kV. Critical disruptive voltage is what? 110 kV. Critical disruptive voltage is 110 kV. So, what is your observation? V phase is 100 kV and Vd is what? 110 kV. So, what is your observation? Which is more Vd or v operating voltage? Critical disruptive voltage is greater than the operating voltage. So, will the corona initiates? No, no corona will take place. There will not be any effect of corona. So, what will be the corona loss in that case? The corona loss is 0 because the corona will not initiate. If uh, Vp is greater than Vd, if the operating voltage is greater than critical disruptive voltage, then only you need to calculate the corona loss. You may get uh, different options and uh, in that one of the option is corona loss is equal to 0. So, here as the operating voltage is less than critical disruptive voltage, there will not be any occurrence of corona. So, corona loss can be equated to 0. Okay. This is one of the observation that you need to make. So, now let us go into further analysis. What are the factors affecting the corona? So, what are the electrical factors? What are the atmospheric conditions? And what are the factors related to conductor? Okay. Let us look into these details one by one. So, what are the electrical factors? Coming to the electrical factors, first one is what? Supply frequency. Okay. Let us observe this. First one is supply frequency. So, from this corona loss relation, from this relation, so corona loss relation, what is your observation? Corona loss directly proportional to what? F plus 25. Okay. Corona loss is directly proportional to corona loss is directly proportional to what? F plus 25. Okay, frequency plus 25. You may get a doubt. The corona loss is only in case of DC or AC or both. Corona, there is a chance of occurrence of corona in both AC as well as DC also. But where the corona loss will be more in AC or DC? So, for AC, for AC supply, suppose as of now, we are operating uh, at uh, 50 hertz frequency. Frequency is how much? 50 hertz. For DC, supply 
frequency is what? 0, okay? Frequency is 0. Here, Corona loss directly proportional to what? 50 plus 25, that is uh, 75. And here, Corona loss directly proportional to what? 25. Where the Corona loss will be more for DC or AC? Corona loss will be more in case of AC, okay? Not DC. So we can make that Corona loss, Corona loss will be more, will be more in case of AC, in case of AC when compared to DC, when compared to, when compared to DC. When you are comparing to DC source, Corona loss will be more in case of AC, okay, because uh, frequency is existing now, Corona loss will increase. So if you are increasing the frequency, what happens? Corona loss increases. With increase in frequency, Corona loss will get increased, okay. Chalo, let us observe a problem based on this, okay. Here you can observe this. What are you saying? If the frequency is 50 hertz, corona loss is 1.2 kilowatt per phase per kilometer. Calculate the corona loss if the frequency is 60 hertz. So he is changing the frequency from 50 hertz to 60 hertz. What will be the change in corona loss? What will be the change in corona loss? How do you calculate? So let f1, that is 50 hertz, then the corona loss is what? Let it be P1, that is 1.2, okay? Now, F2 is how much? 60 hertz, frequency is increased. Then what about the corona loss? So how do you calculate? Try to calculate this one, sir. Just uh, try to get the solution for this. Try to get the solution for this. Try to get uh, the solution for this. Okay. Try to calculate and post the answers. So what is your observation here? So what you can observe, sir? What you can observe here? Corona loss is directly proportional to what? F plus 25, yes or no? Corona loss is directly proportional to F plus 25. So from this, P1 by P2 is equal to F1 plus 25 by F2 plus 25. Can you write like this? So initial operating frequency is 50 hertz and frequency is changed to 60 hertz. 50 plus 25 by 60 plus 25 and uh, when it is operating at uh, 50 hertz, what is the corona loss given? 1.2, 1.2, here whenever it is 60 hertz, we need to calculate that. So what will be the corona loss P2, sir? This will be 1.36 around, it will be around 1.36 kilowatt per phase per kilometer, okay. Now observe here, so with increase in frequency, corona loss is increased, okay. So whenever the frequency gets increased, the corona loss increases. So corona loss will be more in case of HVAC or HVDC. So corona loss will be more, corona loss will be more, will be more in case of, in case of HVAC, high voltage AC, when compared to what? When compared to, compared to HVDC, okay? When you are comparing AC, HVAC and HVDC, corona loss will be more in case of what? HVAC when compared to HVDC line, that you need to observe clearly, okay. 
very important objective type question can be asked when the corona loss will be more in AC or DC. So, AC system the corona loss will be more. Now, let us observe here nature of supply waveform, nature of supply waveform. How the nature of supply waveform can be influencing this uh, corona? Suppose if uh, the supply waveform is consisting of only fundamental, fundamental component, there is only fundamental component that is only 50 hertz component is there, 50 hertz component is there, there is only fundamental component. Then the corona loss is directly proportional to what? F plus 25 that is 50 plus 25. But suppose if the waveform is distorted and there are harmonics, if there are harmonics, if the waveform is not pure sinusoidal, it is being distorted. So, but it is symmetrical. Suppose if this is symmetrical and waveform is distorted, okay, harmonics are there here. Harmonics. Due to presence of harmonics, what happens? Suppose this is symmetrical waveform, then there will be only hard harmonics present. First harmonic fundamental, third, fifth, seventh, ninth, like that. Okay. So, out of this suppose if the third harmonic is dominant, if the third harmonic is dominant, then what will be the corona loss? It is increased or decreased? So, in addition to fundamental frequency, third harmonic frequency is also added up. Okay. So, due to this harmonics in supply waveform, corona loss will increase. Okay. If there are harmonics, the corona loss will increase. Understood my point? This is the objective type question that can be asked. Okay. If the supply waveform, the supply waveform consists of harmonics, consists of harmonics, the supply waveform consists of harmonics. What happens, sir? The corona loss will increase. Corona loss increases. Okay. Objective type question can be framed like this. If the supply waveform is consisting of harmonics, what, what about the corona loss? Corona loss will increase or decrease? Corona loss will increase because, so if you observe here, if the harmonics are introduced, then the third harmonic frequency should be also included, then automatically what happens, sir? Corona loss increases, okay? So that is about uh, the effect of harmonics on corona loss, okay? Now coming to the polarity of conductor, in case of DC, HV DC line. So if you are going with positive polarity, corona loss will be more, or negative polarity, corona loss will be more. Suppose if you observe, this is a positive polarity. Negative conductor is ground. Ground. Okay. This is positive polarity. And coming to the negative polarity conductor. Positive conductor is ground. So, where the corona loss will be more in case of positive polarity conductor or negative polarity conductor? Here, whenever you are going for positive polarity conductor, mobility of electrons will be more. Okay? The chance of occurrence of corona will be more if you are going with positive polarity conductor when compared to what negative polarity conductor. Okay? So, here the corona loss will be more when compared to the negative polarity conductor, okay? Corona loss will be less. Whenever you are going with a negative polarity conductor, in case of HVDC, that's why it's generally preferred to go with what? Negative polarity conductor, so that uh, the corona loss will be less, okay? So, corona loss 
corona loss will be less, corona loss will be less if negative polarity conductor, negative polarity conductor, polarity conductor is used. So, if you are going with a negative polarity conductor, the corona loss will be less when compared to what? Positive polarity conductor, ok. So, that is why if you observe monopolar, so if you observe monopolar type uh, conductor, there will be using negative conductor configuration. Even in homopolar, two conductors, we are using what? Negative polarity, ok. So, so in case of HVDC, in case of HVDC, monopolar configuration, monopolar configuration, here we will be using negative polarity conductor and even in case of homopolar configuration, it is preferred to use both the conductors with negative polarity, ok. Negative polarity conductors are used. That is about uh, the polarity of conductor and how it is influencing, ok. Now, let us go further. What about the height of the conductor? What about the height of conductor? So, suppose let us compare two situations. Let us compare two situations. Suppose if you take this as case 1, here the height of the conductor to ground is H1 meters. And uh, let us take the second case where height of the conductor to ground is more H2 meters, height of the conductor to ground is more. So, here where the corona loss will be less, let us observe here. So, what about the critical disruptive voltage Vd is, how do you write the critical disruptive voltage Vd? G into delta into M into R into ln of d by r ok. So, what is your observation? V d is directly proportional to ln of h by r. Can you write like this? Yes. So, if the height of the conductor to ground is more, V d is more ok. If V d is more, what about corona loss? Corona loss is directly proportional to what? V p minus V d whole square ok. This way. Vp minus Vd whole square. So, here what is your observation? Vd is more. So, the corona loss will be less, ok. Corona loss will be less. So, if the height of the conductor to ground is more, if the height of the conductor to ground is more, the corona loss will be less. If the height of the conductor to ground is less, the corona loss will be more. So, this is about the height of the conductor. So, we can make a point if uh, the height of conductor to ground, conductor to ground, height of the conductor to ground is more, height of the conductor to ground is more, corona, uh, Vd that is critical disruptive voltage will be more and uh, corona loss will be less, ok. This is an important objective type question, he may frame like this. If the height of the conductor to ground is increased, then what about the corona loss? So, you can say that Vd is more, so the corona loss will be less, ok. Chalo. Now, let us uh, go into the next uh, conductor configuration, conductor configuration. So, if you observe single conductor configuration, so you can go for symmetrical configuration, symmetrical configuration, this is symmetrical, symmetrical configuration or you can also observe horizontal configuration, horizontal 
configuration. So horizontally spaced, conductors are horizontally spaced. So R phase, Y phase and B phase. There are R phase, Y phase and B phase, suppose. So here the spacing between the conductors will be same, equilateral spacing we can say that, that is D meters. Here GMD will be, GMD of all the conductors will be same, no? GMD is same for all the conductors. So corona loss will be same in case of symmetrical configuration. The corona loss will be same in all the conductors. But uh, if you go for unsymmetrical configuration or horizontal spacing, D meters, D meters. Here, if GMD of all the conductors is not same, GMD is not same, is not same for all the conductors. So the middle conductor, corona loss will be more, okay, corona loss, corona loss in middle conductor is more, okay, middle conductor is more, okay. Corona loss in case of middle conductor will be more in case of horizontal configuration. But symmetrical configuration, the corona loss will be same for all the three phase while you are calculating because GMD of all the three phase will be same, okay. Chalo. Now let us go for the other aspects that is atmospheric factors. What about the first factor? That is temperature and pressure, temperature and pressure, okay. Suppose, what is the air density factor, delta, air density factor, 3.92 into H by 273 plus, yes or no, air density factor, this one. Suppose, if the temperature is increased, temperature is increased, what happens? Delta reduces, Vd reduces, if Vd that is critical disruptive voltage is reduced, then what happens sir? Vd is reduced, corona loss is directly proportional to Vp minus Vd whole square, okay. So if a Vd is reduced, corona loss is increased. So if the temperature is increased, the corona loss gets increased, okay. So that is the relation from air density factor that you can make. But uh, suppose if the pressure got fall down, okay, if there is a fall in pressure, if H value gets reduced, then also air density factor delta reduces, Vd reduces and uh, corona loss increases, okay. Increase in temperature or decrease in pressure will cause what? Increase in power loss or corona loss will get increased. So this objective type question may be framed on the atmospheric factor, okay. So one more important observation that you can make. Suppose if you are comparing at sea level and hill station, where the corona loss will be more, okay. You can get an objective type question like this. So where the corona loss will be more if the conductor is at sea level or hill station generally. So if you observe at sea level, at sea level, sea level, so if the operating pressure and temperature are H and T, but if you are going for a hill station like this, hill station like this, hill station, okay, there will be fall in pressure as well as temperature, there will be fall in pressure as well as temperature, okay. But fall in pressure will be more when compared to temperature. So if you observe delta is equal to 3.92 into H by 273 plus T, okay. Here at a hill station both are falling, H and T gets fall. But fall in pressure will be more when compared to temperature fall in pressure 
is more when compared to temperature when compared to temperature okay so as fall in pressure is more when compared to temperature in a hill station so what happens delta gets reduced vd gets reduced corona loss gets increased so where the corona loss will be more at sea level or at a hill station here corona loss is less but if you are going for hill station corona loss will be more okay so the chance of occurrence of corona will be more if you are going for hill station areas okay so this is also one of the important objective type question that can be framed now deposition of foreign particles on the surface of the conductor deposition of dust or snow or ice what happens if the dust or snow or ice is deposited surface will become irregular like this. surface will become irregular okay so whenever the surface becomes irregular what happens m value gets reduced so vd gets reduced corona loss gets increased okay deposition of dust or snow or ice will result in what increase in corona loss okay coming to the other factors related to the size of the conductor that is radius or diameter of the conductor what happens if the radius or diameter of the conductor is increased so if the radius is increased what happens let us observe here so what about vd sir vd is g into r into m into delta into ln of what d by r okay so here due to increase in radius here this is a ln logarithm of that this will not have major impact so with increase in radius vd gets increased okay vd gets increased so when vd is increased power loss gets reduced power loss gets reduced okay so this will have major impact visual critical disruptive voltage will have major impact okay so for corona loss to be less for corona loss to be less for corona loss to be less what what should be our observation sir radius should be increased frequency should be reduced this was one of the objective type question that was framed in previous exam for corona loss to be less what should be the radius of the conductor and frequency radius should be increased and frequency should be reduced okay coming to the next observation type of material used so which type of material you are using for the same resistance suppose if you take for same resistance same resistance you can compare suppose if you are comparing for the same resistance aluminum and copper so specific resistance of aluminum is greater than specific resistance of copper so no rho of aluminum will be greater than rho of copper for same resistance you are asking r is equal to rho l by a r is equal to rho l by a now observe so here aluminum is having more specific resistance so if this is more area of cross section should be also more so as rho of aluminum is greater than rho of copper then what it shows area of cross section in case of aluminum conductor is greater than area of cross section in case of copper for same resistance and see for same resistance okay so here automatically the radius of the conductor also gets increased resistance radius of aluminum conductor is greater than radius of copper so where the corona loss will be less so in case of aluminum conductor the radius is more so corona loss will be corona loss corona loss will be less okay if you are going with aluminum conductors okay chalo now let us observe surface of conductor okay if the surface is more irregular then what happens the corona loss will be more 
Suppose if you are going for solid conductors, solid conductors, there is surface irregularity will not be there. But if you are going for stranded conductors, surface becomes irregular. Okay. So surface irregularity factor is to be considered. What are the disadvantages of corona? Let us look into what are the disadvantages of corona. What are the disadvantages, sir? Power loss takes place. Power loss. First one is there is a corona loss taking place. Corona loss is taking place. Yes or no? So there is a corona loss. So if there is a power loss, there will be an efficiency reduced. Efficiency gets reduced. And there is one more problem with this corona. There will be an interference with the neighboring communication line. Interference problem. Interference problem may takes place. Okay. So these are some of the disadvantages of what corona. What are the methods to reduce corona? Okay. What are the methods to reduce corona? So, corona can be reduced by using bundled conductors. If you go for bundled conductors, if you are going for bundled conductor configuration, the corona can be avoided. And by using hollow conductors also, hollow conductors, also you can avoid the corona. So, we will be using these hollow conductors in case of bus bar. So, bus bars, we are using halo conductors because the corona can be avoided. Okay. So, I have given the brief overview of uh, the topic called corona. Okay. Thank you for your viewing this uh, lecture.